I'm back with another video today and for this one I thought I would film a what's in my bag video now this is one of the very first videos I filmed actually but thought that was quite old so I thought I'd do another one and uh, this is it's a relatively new bag I got it for Christmas but you may have seen it in my Christmas haul kind of thing if you watched that a few months back but if not then I thought I would show it you now this is kind of the bag that I use every day and although it's quite small ish it does fit quite a lot in it so I thought I would show you more of a compact bag like my last what's in my bag was a big bag well not big but kind of just an open space this one's more compact so I have to kind of work out what to fit in it more so I thought I'd just show you so I'll start off with what the bag is so it is the Zara kind of is it chain city bag maybe it's called it's kind of croc embossed print on the front and the back and that's my phone and it is just chain lined around there and then the chain itself is a double so you can either just wear it long like I do or I suppose you could double up the chain like that but it would be quite short so I really like this bag, I wanted it for so long, um, it is real leather so it was kind of pricey but I got it as a Christmas present so I just love it, it's definitely an everyday bag, it's what I use what I use most days, it just fits everything that I need in. So it does get quite heavy because the chains are quite heavy and then when you fit everything in it's quite quite chunky but I like it so I just thought I'd show you everything that's in there basically. So when you open up the flap it does just have kind of, I don't know where you can see that, but kind of just two big pockets. So I'll just kind of show you what's in each of those. So I'll just start with the front pocket. So I have a, well, normally I would have my phone in here too, but my phone is obviously, I'm at home today, so my phone's in my hand. So this is my phone, it's just an iPhone 6, and it is in this obnoxiously large pink case. And it is by Moschino. So it is just, supposed to be like the Barbie mirror. It's got a mirror there which, hello, you can see yourself. And then the phone just fits in there like that. So as you can tell, I have a message there. That's why my phone just beeps. But yeah, so my wallpaper is just kind of rabbits. Don't know why you can see that. And then it just goes with the pink case. But I have the gold iPhone 6. Um, yeah, so I just love, I love this case. It doesn't fit, it, it literally just fits in the bag across ways. It is the width of the bag if you lie it down. But I like it. Some days I do switch it out and I use another case that I have, which is by Skinny Dip. Um, but for the time being, this is the one. This would usually be in my bag if I wasn't at home. So, yeah. The next thing is a mini lint roller. This is, picked this up from H&M a few weeks ago. This is always handy to have because I always wear black, like black jeans and stuff. And then just fluff is kind of drawn to them. It's like they're a fluff magnet. So this is great to just get out, roll the fluff away and it just kind of fits in my bag, it's literally like palm size, it's not very big. So yeah, that's that. The next thing I have in here is headphones and as usual they are kind of just in a big ball. I've, I don't know how, you, how people keep their headphones not like this because I kind of make the conscious effort to roll them but then they always just end up like this so there's no point. But yeah, headphones are just the standard iPhone ones. Um, then I have my portable charger, so I just have the standard iPhone cable, but I don't have the plug that goes with it, so I just keep this as a spare one in my bag. Um, and then the charger that I have is this pink one, and it is a power bank, I believe. Now, this was £3. Yes, you heard me right, £3. It was from Home and Bargain, or B&M Bargain, one of those stores, and I just love it. I, don't, I just love it, I mean, I had a juice cube and the juice cube was okay but it didn't really charge that much, it would maybe give my phone two charges or something and that's it. This little thing, this takes a few hours to charge, like typical, and then it just charges my phone several times, so this is great, £3, they do them in loads of different colours, get yourself to home and bargain, so I just keep that with the cable and then just stay in my bag. So the next thing I have in here is some of those Tic Tacs. So I like to just keep something to eat in my bag, I'm always kind of hungry when I'm out. So I have Tic Tacs, they're just the pink strawberry fields ones, I just got these the other day just because they were there at the till. And then I also have a snack bar in here which I didn't know I had, but it's, I just kind of, I usually have these for my breakfast but I think maybe I must have just forgot to eat it at breakfast. So this is one of the ones I'm trying at the moment, it is a Jordan's Fruisley bar in raisin and hazelnut for anyone that cares. 
Um, so yeah, these are they're quite nice. I mean, they're not the nicest snack bar I've ever tried, but it's just something to keep in my bag. I'll just kind of break a bit off and eat it throughout the day. So yeah, that's a Foosley bar. And then I have my vlogging camera. So I just kind of keep it in this really ugly pouch, but it is just camera like that. So I have the Canon S120 and it's a really good camera. I need to really start vlogging more because it is a really good camera. I mean, yeah, I really like it. It's quite compact. It just fits nicely in my bag. I need to get a better case for it though because this is a bit naff. But I really need to start vlogging more. I mean, let me know if that's something you'd want to see. I don't really do that many interesting things throughout the day, but I suppose I could vlog if I go anywhere. So yeah, let me know if this is something you want to see, but I just keep that in there anyway in case I need to snap any blog pictures and I don't have my big camera around with me. I have my purse. So this is actually the same purse from my last What's In My Bag video because I keep it and it is my Mulberry Continental Wallet in blush pink, I think, rose pink. So it basically is just a dusky pink colour and then it has rose gold hardware on it. And I love this purse. I do kind of want a new one. I can, I've had this maybe four years now or something. Um, three years, four years. And I get bored so easily. I'm surprised I've even gone this long. And I do love this purse, but I just want a new one. It's kind of going, it's in perfect condition still. It's just kind of stretching out a bit. And in here I just have the usual. So you just, it's basically like a top pocket there and then an open bit there. So I basically just have the usual things in here. What do I have? I have Boots Advantage card, Super Drug Advantage card, I have my driving licence with the most ugly picture imaginable on it, it's great, great picture, uh, I have my like debit card, I have a cinema card, Nando's card, which I always forget I have, but yeah, Nando's card, what else do I have in here, Costa card, Debenhams card, Space and K card, money, how much money do I have? I have a grand total of like £5 in change, rich. Um, and then I just have like two train passes that I have. One has like my mail card, one has some weekly pass or something that I was told to buy. And then I just have like a billion receipts in here. So yeah, typical, typical purse basically. So yeah, that is my Mulberry wallet and I do love it but I am looking for another one. I'm thinking maybe getting a Vivian Westwood one next but I don't know. For the time being this is fine. So the next thing, and I think the final thing actually, but this is, oh no it's not, no it's not the final thing. In this little pocket at the side I have, what do I have in here? There's like a little pocket in the side. So I have a bus ticket with the McDonald's voucher on the back, great. I have a Pandora receipt for when I bought uh, a Mother's Day present for my mum, obviously. Then I have plaster, great. For necessities. Then I have, so this is kind of the last thing but it is encompassing a lot, so it's kind of this little bag. I mean I don't really like this bag at all, but it's the smallest one that fits in this. When I have a bigger bag I'll use a different one that I actually like, but it fits in this bag fine. So yeah, this is from H&M. I don't really like that it's gold, that's what bugs me the most, I wish it was silver, but anyway, so it's just this little patent bag and it fits just all my stuff in it, so I'll just go through. So I have a nail file, this is just your standard, bog standard nail file. I kind of want a glass nail file, because I hear that they're better for your nails, but I mean I just have this. Then I have a lip balm, so I just kind of throw one lip balm of my many lip balms, and um, for this one I'm using the Vaseline Queen Bee limited edition one. I mean I'm a sucker for these limited edition Vaseline tins so I just kind of picked this one up the till and it does smell of honey and I quite like it. I like the Vaseline one so they're just kind of standard just keep it in there. Then I have a concealer in case any of my blemishes come out during the day and it is the one I currently have is the NARS Radiant creamy concealer and I am in the shade medium custard. I actually think it's a bit dark for my skin tone but this is the one that the girl matched me to so that's what I have. Then I have 
a rollerball perfume. This is from Victoria's Secret. I love their rollerballs and they're so easily accessible now. No one seems to stock rollerball perfumes, which I don't know why, but Victoria's Secret has a lot, so I just kind of built up a collection of them. And this one is Victoria's Secret Scandalous. So let me feel like I'm. It's kind of like a fruity, plummy, jasmine y kind of scent. It's quite nice. I just use this to just roll when I'm out, roll it on everywhere top up my scent so yeah that's that's nice. I have a hand sanitizer so this is handmade hand gel and this is basically just the most floral hand gel ever. I love this I like to just keep it if I'm going on trains or stuff because you don't know who's touched the trains before you so yeah hand gel standard. And then I have four lip products it's quite surprising actually I thought I would have more but I have four lip products so I have I like to keep like a mixture, maybe kind of a nude, a, a darker one, a bright, etc. But it seems I have three nudes and the current lip colour. So I have the one that I've got on my lips now, which is by MAC and it is flat out fabulous. So just basically this really bold fuchsia colour, which I really like. It's nice. I don't wear it every day because it is so bold and it is quite drying on the lips, but it's nice. So I keep the one that I'm usually wearing on my lips that day or if it's a nude I'll keep a bold that I might wear so that's flat out fabulous and then I have three nudes as I said so I have the Rimmel by Kate Moss nude in 03 this is the one that I don't really reach for very often but I've had it in my bag for that long that I just kind of keep it in there as you can see it's pretty much been used all of it but I, I do like it it's just kind of very nude so yeah I have that then the other two I have, which are favourites of mine, are the first one is by L'Oreal and it is the Collection Privy by Cheryl, Cheryl's Nude, and I love this shade so much. And it is just a very basic brownie mauvey nude, and I really like it. It's one that I do reach for a lot. It's kind of you can't really see it on the lips that much. It's just there. So yeah, I like that one. And then one that's my favourite is. By Charlotte Tilbury, let's all just take a moment to appreciate the packaging, shall we? And it is Nude Kate. And uh, this one is a really nice shade. I haven't used it for that that much because I haven't had it that long. But I really like it. It's just your typical, typical nude. I mean, I don't know if I can swatch this one or not because I do really like this one. But yeah, so it's like a brownie nude. But apparently Kate Moss likes it, so I like it too. That little pouch thing is empty now, and I think I think my bag is empty too. Yep, my bag is empty, so that's everything in my bag. I mean, as I said, it does fit quite a lot in it. I've got quite a lot here, and there does seem to be a pink theme going on as well with my purse and my phone, etc. But yeah, so that's everything that fits in this bag. That's pretty much everything I carry on a daily basis. It just kind of varies, obviously, with lip products, etc. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, I do like watching these, I'm kind of nosy to see what people carry around with them, but let me know what you carry in your bag or if any is pretty much the same as mine. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one then, bye!